This morning, Hunter Biden is facing criminal charges for allegedly lying on paperwork to buy a gun. It comes as President Joe Biden tries to focus on holding the White House and fighting the legal perils of an impeachment inquiry. These charges, the first for a president's child, are not the only ones he could be facing. Tom Dempsey is live in D.C. Tom, a gun purchased by Hunter Biden in 2018 could land him behind bars for decades. Yeah, that's right, Nick. But it's important to note that Hunter Biden could still face additional charges, specifically for tax violations. And this morning, more reactions are continuing to come in. At least one Republican saying that this indictment could be the first of many involving the Bidens. This morning, a four-page federal indictment details gun charges against Hunter Biden. Special counsel David Weiss accuses Biden of failing to disclose drug use when trying to buy a gun and for unlawfully having the gun while being an addict, writing that Hunter Biden claimed to not be using or addicted to illegal drugs, quote, when in fact, as he knew that statement was false and fictitious. The charges date back to 2018 when Hunter Biden tried to buy a Colt Cobra revolver. In his memoir released two years ago, Biden wrote of past drug problems, including using crack cocaine multiple times. An attorney for the president's son fired back against the charges, writing in a statement, quote, Hunter Biden possessing an unloaded gun for 11 days was not a threat to public safety, but a prosecutor with all the power imaginable bending the political pressure presents a grave threat to our system of justice. The president's fellow Democrats also took swipes at the other side. I think our Republican colleagues would probably be demanding that the charges be dropped if it were for almost any other American. They don't believe in gun charges. Republicans, though, highlighted the failed plea deal earlier this year that would have allowed Hunter Biden to avoid jail time and the congressional testimony from IRS whistleblowers accusing the Justice Department of slow walking the investigation. How long does it take these guys at the DOJ to do their job? Okay, how long has it been now? We've known this. And they they were going to do nothing. It takes a special counsel to prosecute somebody for a felony gun charge. The charges against Hunter Biden set up a possible trial next year in the heat of the presidential election season, bringing unwanted attention for President Biden, who shied away from comments after the indictment came down. There's a lot more I know we could talk about. I wish I had a chance to take all your questions, but I'm going to get in real trouble if I do that. Of the charges against Hunter Biden, the most serious one carries with it up to 10 years behind bars and fines of up to $250,000. Nick. Yeah, a criminal case that continues to captivate the nation. Tom, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.